Hello and welcome to Vanguard Live Top 10. My name is Gift Mark. What do we say about Mondays being days for work? Yes, the Vanguard Life is bringing you top 10 business magnets in Nigeria. So, you no, know, most people want to go into business and they'll be like, ah, I need to get 20 million, 30 million if I can venture into a business. That's why Vanguard Life is here with this program to encourage you, to show you that you can actually do this business with that little that you have. With the little you have, you can start a business and you can grow the business. And of course, shout out to Mr. Chris Adetayo for his immense contributions. Let's get down to business. And number 10, Abdul Salamad Isiaku Rabiu. His, his late dad, Isiaku Rabiu, you know, should make the list. He was, in his own right, a great industrialist. But it was to the credit of Abu Salad that few they realized that he's a son. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's great of him that you know uh, Abu Salam had actually done great in the in, in the business uh, of in the business world. You know the Abu Salam had uh, a group is the closest to Dangote that we have around here, and their interest is mostly in the same sector. You know the Abu Salam had uh, a group and Dangote group of uh, group as they have uh, 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 the same interest interest in cement, you know interest in flour, in uh, sugar in oil and fertilizer and you know the Abdus Ahmad Siyaku Rabiu is the third person to make it from Kano so we are giving a great shout out to him and great uh, for his great work in the business adventure number nine and number nine is not other but uh, Mike Adenuga you know the Nigerian businessman is the chairman of Adenuga Chairman Adedonga is a proverbial uh, Okunri Meta. Yeah, I've heard about the word Okunri Meta. Okunri Meta recently means three in one. He's three person in one because of the great things he's doing in the business world. You know, he is more known as the owner of Globalcom. Globalcom happens to be uh, the second national uh, carrier. Uh, but his interest is varied and, uh, you know, uh, presence is large. You know, he's the third richest man in Africa, the third richest person in Africa. You know, his company, Globalcom, is Nigeria's second largest telecom operator. Shout out to you, Mr. Michael Adenoga. So now we've got to our number seven. The number seven on our list is not order but our own Moshud Abiola also known as MKO Abiola. Abiola was a Nigerian businessman, a publisher, a politician, an aristocrat uh, from the Eban clan. An accountant who made his money from telecommunications back in the analog days and from there to owning a from there, from just from the analog, he had to own his own ventures. You know, in just about every, he has stakes in just about every every sector. Talking about airline, we have the Abiola Concord in publishing. We have the Concord Press in books. Abiola's on number seven. You know, in books we have uh, the Abiola bookshop in bakery we have the wonder bakery in agriculture we have like other farms in shipping we have the african ocean lines in sports we have the abiola uh, abiola uh babes later called the concord fc uh, in banking we have the happy bank you know etc so on and so forth later became the face of pre-democracy movements you know people will always remember him as one of the greatest philanthropists of nigeria that nigeria has ever produced you know the mko in case you don't know what that means mko means m means money k means kudu and o means o shout out to you mushud abdullah and i will go to our number six are you ready for our number six? Are you ready for our number six? Our number six is Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote is the richest man in Africa presently. Yeah, he is the richest man in Africa presently. You know, he's a founder. He's a chairman of the Dangote Group. Hmm, an industrial 
from the conglomerates in Africa. You know, he started out as a, a commodity trader and gradually built up a conglomerate. You know, now uh, that now includes industries in in cement, industries in sugar, in salt, in oil and construction, so on and so forth. More importantly, a dedicated philanthropist whose significant contributions have helped to rid the Nigeria of white polio. Do you know what? Ali Kodangote is the 162nd wealthiest person in the world. Yeah, he is the 162nd wealthiest person in the world. And of course, we're bringing you more and more and more and more of these people to encourage you to actually know that ah, you can actually start from small and you can grow big. At this point, we'll take a short break and when we come back, we'll continue. Stay with us. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, this is Vanguard Life Top 10, and my name is Gift Mag. You know, looking at some business magnets, people that after they gone, after they done great in the business uh, industry, that started from nowhere or nothing or from the scratch, and uh, they gradually built a conglomerate out of it. And you know, right now we're going to a number five. Our number five is Michael Christopher Ibro. You know, he built a conglomerate from selling frozen fish. That's a panda. I don't know panda that you and I eat. So the normal fish we buy from the market and we eat. That is where. That is how he started and he built uh, a conglomerate out of it. You know, from there he diversified into burial, hospitality, uh, agriculture, banking, air transport, etc. I'm talking about uh, being your brother's keeper. He is a very good example. You know, he set up his brothers with all the success ventures you know uh, one became the first civilian governor of Delta State and uh, another started the Guardian that one of the Nigerians on top newspapers yes talking about of course when you have siblings you have something you have, you're blessed you know you, it's, it's very good actually you know bless others around you you know make them to be great also that's what makes a great man when you're great and you're able to help others to become great too you know he was the head of the Ibro organization one of the largest conglomerates in Nigeria so we're going into a number four our number four is our own Aminu Dan Tata. You know, a business, is a businessman and a philanthropist. You know, who uh, is one of the uh, promoters of the Kano State Foundation uh, and, and a dormant fund that supported education, educational in, in initiatives, and provided grants to small scale entrepreneurs in Kano after the demise of the patriarch uh, 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 Hazan Dan Tata in the mid 19. 50s, I mean, it took control, growing the trading business to a national conglomerate with investments in commodities exports, in construction, in oil, in motor dealership, etc. And the business is still growing strong, you know, after the demise of, uh, of uh, 
of Al, Al Hassan, you know, he took the business, didn't allow the business to die. He took the business and then he, he helped the business to grow stronger and stronger and stronger. So now we go into our number three. Our number three is Bisoye Esther Tejoshu. Yeah. Late chief Mrs. Bishola Esther Tejoso was a Nigerian businesswoman. She herself held the chieftaincy of uh, Yalode. Yes, so the woman held the chieftaincy of uh, <laughs> the chieftaincy. Yes, you know, the woman to whom a large swath of Yaba Lagos is named after. I don't know if you have been to Yaba Market before in Lagos. If you've been to Yaba Market in Lagos, you'll see her name everywhere, written in most most parts they you see Tejo Show, Tejo Show, Tejo Show. Yeah, she is the person we are talking about right uh, now. You know, she started off trading from her base, that's in Zaria. Then she later then became a distributor of the USC and other companies. You know, from there she moved to setting up the Tejo Industries, you know, which produce foams, carpet, and invest in you know, foams and carpet, and invest in real estate across uh, the country. What next? As in, mean next, you visit Tejo Show Market in Lagos, that's in Yaba. Just know that you're giving this woman homage. Just know and say, ah, I'm going to the market right now. I'm giving this woman homage. Ah, this woman that actually did things that, that uh, you know, mouth cannot say. Like, she, she's, she's an icon. She's really, really an icon. So we go into a number two. A number two is Henry Oloyede Fajemi Lokun. You know, he's the founder and chairman of the Henry Stevens group of companies, you know, with interest in just about every every sector of the of, of the economy, talking about agriculture, talk about oil, talk about maritime transport, talk about cement. We keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Oh yes, that those are the as in he had interest in in, in about every sector when it comes to the economy. You know, he was uh, at various times president of Nasima, you know, the president of Lagos State of Commerce, president Federation of, uh, uh, of the West, uh, I don't know, he's uh, president of uh, African Chambers of Commerce. So many, 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 you know, he's uh, actually, he's an icon. I, I, I need to use this word. He is an icon. You know, he was a strong believer in and promoted the West African economic integration. So what's more and more, I can go on and on and on talking about this man. He is an icon. He is an icon when it comes to chambers and comments, when it comes to business, he is an icon. And of course, we're going on our number one. No, number one, do you want to know what our number one is? Are you ready for our number one? Are you sure you want to see our number one? Because our number one is uh, one person that I want to just give you know, salute and give kudos to before mentioning his name. He is our own Sal Louis. Otumegu Ojuku, you know, yes, you know, if you're in school, you know, you, primary, secondary school, you always hear about this man, like Otumegu Ojuku, 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 he did this in Nigeria, he did that in Nigeria, yes, and we're putting him as our number one, we just be, ah, who, 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 who should be this number one, no, 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 it must be this icon, it must be this one that everybody knows, it must be this icon that have done things that, that are reputable, things that people like, people can always go back and say, ah, in 1950s, in 19 for this Ojuko did this, Ojuko did that. And of course, uh, he's the founding president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, that's NSE. You know, he was repeatedly Nigeria's richest man in the 1950s. Yes, in the 1950s, he was, uh, he was uh, Nigeria's richest man. You know, he pioneered this, the, the sector that the Igbos have come to uh, uh, dominate over the years you know his uh, ojuko transport limited was behind the mass transit across the river niger from the 1940s and enabled him to amass wealth that he further invested in, in an array of uh, of industries you know in the process he became the director of many other companies including shell talk about the african continental bank as the acb yeah he did a lot and the one unique thing about him is that we all go to you know jam office, jam headquarters is in there. Jam, jam headquarters in Nikoye, yes, jam headquarters is, is in Nikoye, we all know. But the fun fact is, Ojuku's um, house in Nikoye was later, Ojuku's house in Nikoye is now the new, as in the jam office 
now is there in his house is now the jump of his headquarters in Ifoli. Plus, and that's all we have for you today on the top 10 countdown. We're bringing the show to you to encourage you, like I said earlier, to encourage you that want to venture into business. You don't need to have millions or billions or trillions to go into this business. With the little that you have, you can start. You know, pick one of these people as your role model. Use them as your role model. Like, ah, if this person can actually do this, then of course I can do it. So that's why Vanguard Life is bringing the show to you. And of course, once more again, shout out soon. Chris at the tire, Chris at the tire, shout out there. And of course, shout out to the man behind the camera controlling the whole thing, making the whole program to run smoothly. And that's uh, Dozzy. And of course, like, come away next time. I need my humble self, Kids Mark. You know, feel free to follow us on our social media handles displayed on your screen. To get more of our top stories on things happening globally, visit our website at www.bagatngr.com. So, like, come your way next time. That business you want to venture into, go for it. <laughs>